Hi, my name is Michael Winger. I'm a producer, engineer, songwriter, and musician from San Francisco, California. We're here at my studio at 1340 Mission in San Francisco, and we're working with Record going into Pro Tools via Rewire. I think working as a producer or a musician, it's all about flow. And I think one of the things that's best about Record is its flow. It's really easy to get up and working, to get an idea down, and to move quickly from inspiration to product. If you have an idea, you can just record it, and there it is. Particularly when I'm sketching out a song with an artist, it's a, it's a fantastic platform for that, just because it's so smooth and simple. If I'm writing, I find record is a really great way to go if it's just for my own band or for myself, and it's a really easy way to audition sounds and things like that. The speed of finding what you're looking for is fantastic. When you're reaching for a synth or for some sort of tonal texture, you don't want to have to look forever. But record makes it just really easy to get your sounds kind of organized in a way that's, that's just fast. So usually when I, when I work with, uh, with any instruments in record, um, I'll do it pretty much the same way that you set up any soft synth. Um, over here, for instance, we'll scroll up to, uh, to one of the tracks. I've got an instrument track here in Pro Tools uh, for a Mellotron choir, for instance. Um, which I'm using on an NNXT, I believe, or an NN19. Um, and so the, the, uh, the plugin is here, is just under all my instrument plugins, and I just choose record here. And when that comes up, I have my, uh, my output for where it's going to show up coming out of record. So um, over here in record, I've got. The, the instrument itself is set up down here. It's just a simple Mellotron sound, the choir sound from the Mellotron. Um, this just comes out the normal way you would expect it to in Reason, um, but instead of going to the main mixer that you get in Reason or going straight to the audio interface, it actually goes to the mix channel for the device. And this is what makes it easier than Reason because these devices are all just sitting right next to each other and they're all labeled and by default they route into the mixer, the, into the SSL emulation mixer of record, but over here they come out of this line out which I can then just plug in to the audio out over here which shows up, for instance, this track is on 7 and 8 so I've just routed this guy up here to hardware interface channel whatever it is, five and six actually, sorry, I'm, I'm having them all backwards at the moment. By having these just rewired like that, I can just grab each instrument on its own channel within Pro Tools, but having them all grouped together here makes it a lot easier. If I go back over here, then I'll find my Mellotron choir. I have since gone on to print that track into its own audio track and then I mix that using some Pro Tools plugins using the Eventide Ultra Channel. Depending on the song, sometimes I'll end up using effects and delays within Record as well because they sound really good and sometimes that's just faster and easier. Later in the, in the song I have, uh, I have this sort of odd little synth that shows up like The original one sounded like this. Uh, I rewired that and then I printed that track into, onto an audio track in Pro Tools and then I put that plug in on the audio track. Um, I do that largely because I don't trust the timing of Pro Tools um, with MIDI. It just, it's just, it's not always reliable. Um, and on top of that, when you're archiving the song, you don't want to leave soft synths unprinted. It's just Recording Academy P&E guidelines say print any soft synths and make sure that they exist as audio files because they're easier to keep track of. I'm really happy that Record has come along. I think it's an incredible piece of software that is great for getting ideas started, which is usually the hardest part of the whole musical process. And I think it sounds great and 
It's so similar to Reason. I haven't really lost any workflow as a result of moving to Record, but I've gained a whole huge swath of functionality that I had always wanted in, in Reason back when I was using just Reason. So I think Record gives you a nice, flexible production environment that doesn't overdo it, doesn't give you too many new tricks, and yet and feels familiar enough for you to just get to work.